Good evening, this is Upper Shot. Mitch coming to you live from the YouTube channel as I continue on our part series, part 143 of On This Day in Black Music History. I'm your host, I'm Rashad Mitchell, and uh, my YouTube channel, and I'm going to talk about August 20th. On August 20th, the number one RB song in 1977 was Best of My Love by The Emotions. On August 20th, 1949, Dinah Washington into the RB hit list with Long John Blues peaking at number three. On August 20th, 1954, the Orioles begin a week long engagement at Weeks Cafe in Atlantic City. On August 20th, 1955, Chuck Berry debuts this. Maybelline charted on its way to number five pop and number one RB. The classic would stay at number one for 11 weeks and would be the first of 27 pop and 23 RB hits he would have through 1972. Not bad for a one time hairdresser. Began adulthood on the wrong side of the law. In 1944, at the age of 18, Barry began a three-year stint in a reform school following a conviction for armed robbery. On August 20th, 1988, Rick James, guest rapper Roxanne Shante, topped the R&B chart with Lucy's rap. It was James's fourth and last number one. August 20th, 1988, Karen White, a former studio singer, stormed the R&B Top 100 with The Way You Love Me, making it the first of three number ones in a row. The hits to follow were Superwoman and Love Saw It. And finally, on August 20th, 1996, The Emotions, Billy Preston, the brothers Johnson and Isaac Hayes performed at the Universal Amphitheater in Universal City, California. It was an especially enjoyable time for Hayes as he was celebrating his 54th birthday. So that concludes a look at the moments that took place on August 20th on behalf of Black Music History. This is part 143 of On This Day in Black Music History, part 143. Support, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Until then, talk to you tomorrow.